project, you are going to need some weight three yarn. I used about a half of this skein, but I will let you guys know in the description just how much yarn I use for this project. You will need a tape measure, a four millimeter crochet hook, and then a pair of scissors. So our ear muffler is going to be worked in three separate steps. So the first step is going to be to make the body portion of our ear muffler. The second step will be to create the ribbing all the way around the body portion. And then the third step is going to be creating our little chains right here and then attaching the pom-poms at the very end. So let's get right into starting the body portion. So we're only going to need to know one measurement for the whole project and that's going to be from one earlobe up and over your head to the other earlobe. So from here to here. Now just pretend that this is a tape measure. So whatever you get for this measurement will be what you use for part one or the body portion of our top, which I will show you how to make in the next scene. So let's get started. So we'll start our body part at the increase. So we're going to increase, do some normal rows and then decrease. Now also we are making what's called a camel stitch. So you can see all of these raised rows. And if you don't know how to do a camel stitch, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly because I won't really be able to show you when we're doing the increases. So these are just um, normal half double crochets. I'm gonna chain up two, flip my work, and that chain two will not count as a stitch. But what we're gonna do for this row two is work in the third loop of the half double crochet stitch. So we would normally insert our hook into this space right here and pick up that front and back loop. But we also have this third loop right here when we make a half double crochet. So as you can see, it kind of looks like a second V. So it's like when we're looking at it straight on like this, it's like there's one row of V's. And then when you look at it from the top, there's another row of V's. So what we're gonna do is work in that third loop only. So I'm just going to insert my hook into the third loop and make a normal half double crochet. And you're just gonna do that in every single stitch for row two. So you see, insert into that third loop only. Show you once more, insert, third loop. So for row three, we're gonna chain up two as well and then flip our work. So now you can see how those stitches are raised in row two. So we wanna keep that going. Now, if in row three, we did the same exact thing, so we insert our hook into the third loop only, that would push the V stitches onto the opposite side of our work. So it would be raised on the other side rather than the front side where we want it to be raised. So what I'm gonna do is instead make our half double crochets in the back loop only of the top V. So not in the third loop only, but in the back loop right here. So that's where we're gonna make our half double crochets for the third row. So I'll show you once again, not in this V, but in the top V, work in the back loop only. And you'll do that in each stitch down. So once we finish that third row, we can now see how the stitches are raised just like we did in the previous row. So if you flip your work, all of the back is going to lay flat. So this is essentially what we're gonna do for the whole entirety of the body portion. We're just gonna be repeating like these rows two and three. So in row two, we work in the third loop only, and in row three, we work in the back loop only. I wanted to show you guys this because when I do it, when we start doing with just the increases, you can't really see quite as well how this turns out. So let's get started with the increasing part of the body portion. So to begin the body portion, we're first gonna chain up three. 
and we'll be making half double crochets. So I'm gonna make one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook or in the very first chain we made. So we'll yarn over and I'm just gonna insert into that top loop only and make one half double crochet. Okay, so that is gonna be our row one. Now I'm gonna chain up two and flip our work for row two. So we're gonna work two half double crochets in that third loop of our stitch. So insert into the third loop only. And make two half double crochets. So one and two. And we're gonna be increasing in every single row right now. So now for row three, we'll chain up two flip our work and we're going to make two half double crochets in the first stitch and the second stitch but we're going to be working in the back loop only so i'm going to yarn over insert into the back loop only make one two then we'll make two half double crochets in the back loop only of the second stitch So one and two. Now for row three, I'm sorry, row four, we're gonna chain up two, flip our work, and to increase in row four, we're gonna make two half double crochets in the first stitch, two half double crochets in the last stitch, and then one half double crochet in the middle stitches. So we're now gonna work in that third loop only. I'm gonna yarn over insert into the third loop only and make one two half double crochets in that first stitch then in the next stitch i'm going to make one half double crochet in the third loop only right here and in the following stitch i'm going to make one half double crochet in the third loop only just want to show you guys that this is that front V. So here's the third loop only. And once we get to that very last stitch, we're going to make two half double crochets in the very last stitch, third loop only. So sometimes it's a little hard to see the third loop right here. Do one and two. All right, then for row five, I'm gonna chain up two, flip my work, and we'll make two half double crochets in the first stitch, two half double crochets in the last, and then one half double crochet in each of the middle stitches. But we are gonna be working in the back loop only. So as you can see, we're alternating between the third loop and the back loop for every row. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into the back loop only, one, and two and then we'll make one half double crochet in each of our middle stitches and once we reach that very last stitch We'll make it two half double crochets in that very last stitch. Back loop only, of course. All right, so I'm going to continue by repeating rows four and five until I have a total of nine rows with 16 stitches in the row. So this is my nine total rows of the increasing stitches. I finished with 16 stitches on my last row. And let's just see how long this is. So this is about three inches long and about three inches wide. So this is gonna be the total width of our little body portion right here. But just remember that we're also adding about an inch and a half of ribbing all around it. So if you think you still want this to be a little bit wider, then just continue to make your increasing rows until you're happy with the width. 
But for me, we are now going to move on to making just the normal rows. So to determine how long we make the normal row portion, we're gonna take the length of our increase. So for me, the total length of this was three inches. And then what I'm gonna do is multiply that by two. So three times two is six. And the reason for that is because I'm accounting for the decreasing portion at the other end of our body piece. So what I'm gonna do is take that one measurement I had, which was about 14 to 14 and a half inches. I'm gonna subtract six, which leaves me with about eight to eight and a half inches for my normal rows. So that's about how long I want my normal rows to be. So <laughs> with that, let's just get right into it. So we are first going to chain up two, flip our work, and we're just gonna be making one half double crochet in each stitch all the way down, so no more increases. But as you can see, I left off with a row of the working in the back loop only of my stitches. <laughs> so that means in this row, row 10, we're gonna be working in the third loop of our stitches to continue with the little pattern that we have going on. So I'm first going to yarn over and insert into the third loop only of the first stitch. And then I'm going to continue doing that in each stitch all the way down, just inserting into the third loop only. Okay, so for row 11, we'll chain up two, flip our work, and now we're gonna make one half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch all the way down. So we'll yarn over, start in that very first stitch, and work into the back loop only. Okay, so you'll do this for each stitch down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is continue to repeat rows 10 and 11 all the way until you reach that normal row measurement that you just took. So for me, I'm going to continue repeating these two rows until I reach eight to eight and a half inches. So once you're done with that, come on back and we will get started with the decreasing part. So you should now be done with your normal rows. As you can see here, I did not do eight to eight and a half inches of my normal rows, but that is just for demonstration purposes. So now we're gonna be moving on to making our decreasing end of our body portion. So we're going to say that this next row is row one because everybody's rows are now different. So you're gonna chain up two, flip your work, and you're gonna continue working with this pattern. So if you need to be working in the third loop only, work in the third loop only, and if you need to work in the back loop only, then do that. But for me, I'm going to be working in the back loop only to keep with my pattern here. So for our decreasing rows, we're gonna be making a half double crochet decrease in the first two stitches and the last two stitches. So for row one, I'm gonna yarn over insert my hook into the back loop only of the very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then with three loops on my hook, I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the second back loop only, or the second stitch back loop only, yarn over, pull through, and now I should have five loops on my hook. So now we'll yarn over and pull through all five loops. So that's gonna be our half double crochet decrease. Now, with all the stitches in between, we're just going to make one half double crochet in each stitch until we reach those last two stitches. Okay, so I've just hit the last two stitches, which means I'm gonna do another half double crochet decrease. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into the back loop only of this next stitch, yarn over, pull through. I've got three loops off my hook, so I'm gonna yarn over insert into the very last stitch, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, 
and now I have five loops on my hook so I'll yarn over pull through all five and that will be my last decrease so for row two we're gonna chain up two, flip our work and I'm gonna be working into the third loop only but you may be working in the back loop only it's just gonna depend so we're gonna do the same thing we'll decrease in the first two stitches and the last two stitches so I'm going to yarn over insert into the third loop that first stitch maybe <laughs> yarn over pull through then yarn over insert into the third loop only of the next stitch yarn over pull through and then pull through all five then I'm going to work one half double crochet in each stitch until I reach the last two stitches of the row Then in the last two stitches, we're gonna make a decrease. So yarn over, pull through. All right, so I'm gonna chain up two, flip my work, and I'm gonna continue repeating rows one and two until I reach one stitch left. All right, so I just finished doing my decreasing part. I have nine rows of decreases, just like I had nine rows of increases. So now we're gonna move right on into working with the rib. So it's gonna be this little part right around here. Now for the first round, we're gonna be making one single crochet in each half double crochet space all the way around the body portion. So we're gonna move right into that. So you're first gonna chain up one, flip your work so you're working from right to left, and you're gonna place one single crochet in each half double crochet space. Now in the first few rows, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see. So I'm kind of placing these first few stitches wherever, but I am just making sure that I'm just placing one in each row, each space. So two, Okay, so now we've come up to a row where we can finally see that raised part. So with these, I'm going to work my single crochet into kind of the top of each of the raised stitches. So like I'll place my hook right inside here and make my single crochet. Then in the next space, I'll do it right here. And this will just help me keep track that I'm just making one single crochet in the top of each half double crochet space you're in each half double crochet space okay and I'm just gonna keep repeating this all the way around my body portion you know what actually I'm gonna come back once you reach this point right here and help you guys out a little bit down there so just continue doing this until you reach the opposite point so once we reach the other tip, I'm going to put two single crochets in this last half double crochet space. So one and two. That's just going to kind of round this out a little bit. And then just continue making one single crochet in each half double crochet space until you reach the beginning of round one. In that very last half double crochet space, we're gonna make one single crochet. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we made in the round. So slip stitch. We also now have a total of two single crochets in this first half double crochet space, just like over at the other tip. So that's gonna be the end of round one. And as you can see, your body portion should start curling in like this kind of looks like an armadillo um, but anyways now we're going to actually start working on the rib so I'm going to chain up a total of four one two three four and then I'm going to work back down on this chain four with one single crochet in each chain starting in the second chain from the hook so I'm going to insert picking up just the top loop only and making one single crochet 
Okay, I'll make a single crochet in the second chain. <laughs> and then one single crochet in the last chain. So you should have a total of three single crochets in your first little row here. So now we are going to slip stitch in the second stitch of round one, which is right here. So we're gonna slip stitch, then you'll chain one, flip your little work, which is just this little row right here, and then you're gonna work a single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch except for the last stitch. So I will insert my hook into the back loop only of the first stitch, make one single crochet, do the same in the second stitch, and then in the third stitch I'm going to go through the whole entire stitch. Okay, just like so. Then I'll just make a single crochet. Then for row three we'll chain one, flip our little work, and we're going to make one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch. I should uh, also remind you that the chain one is not going to count as a stitch, so we're working in that very first stitch. So one, oops, two, and three. You want to make sure that you are working three stitches in each row. Now once you come back down, we're going to insert our hook into the following stitch from round one and make a slip stitch to attach to the work. Okay, so then you will chain one and you're gonna repeat rows two and three all the way around this body portion until you reach the very beginning. So, so I just reached the very beginning of the rib. So what I'm gonna do is slip stitch into this last stitch of round one right here. I'm gonna chain up one and instead of going back up this row, we're gonna slip stitch these two rows together. So I'm gonna take my hook like this, and then I'm just going to press these two rows together right here. So I'm gonna make a slip stitch in the chain of this row and the front loop only of this row. So we'll insert into the first chain, then I'm gonna insert into the front loop only of the first stitch on this row. Then we're just gonna slip stitch that together. Okay, do that in the next chain. Insert, insert into the front loop only, and slip stitch. Then we'll do it once more at the top. And I'm gonna insert my hook into the whole stitch on that very last stitch and slip stitch okay so now you're gonna chain up one grab your scissors leave a bit of a tail and cut and then pull through all right so that is what the end looks like and this is what the end of your ribbing should look like <laughs> this kind of looks like a football <laughs> But now we're moving on to the last part, which is making our little chains. So we'll move on to doing that. So to find out where to start your little straps, you just wanna fold your ear muffler in half, just like this, make sure it's all even. And then I'm gonna take my hook and put it through the fold. So it'll either go through a stitch or through a space. So that's where I'm gonna put my first little strap. So I've already made a slip knot with my yarn. I'm gonna place that on my hook. I'm gonna pull it through. And then I'm gonna chain up 100. So one. Okay, so I just finished making 100 chains and this chain measures out to be about 19 and a half inches. So now what we are going to do is make one slip stitch in each chain all the way back down. So starting in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna insert, I'm actually going to work in the back bump only because I think it looks a little nicer. So working in the back bump, we're gonna make one slip stitch in each chain all the way down. All 
All right, so I'm back down at the very beginning. So now what I'm gonna do is make a slip stitch in the very same space that I started my chain with. So we'll slip stitch. All right, I'm gonna chain up one. Okay, cut, and then pull through. And you guys can of course double knot this for extra security. But that is all we're doing for the straps. So all you're gonna do is fold this in half and then find the point you want to start your other strap and then just follow all of these same steps. So now I'm gonna move on to show you how to make the little pom-poms. To get started with our pom-poms, you're first gonna wanna cut off a piece of yarn. This piece is about 15 inches long. So we're gonna put that to the side and then you're gonna pick up your yarn Oh no, I lost, oh, there we go. Then you're gonna pick up your yarn and we're gonna make these pom-poms with our two fingers. So I'm gonna hold the little tail like this and then I'm gonna kind of open my fingers like so. And then we're just gonna begin wrapping around these two fingers. And they're gonna start getting closer and closer together, so don't worry about that. And we're just gonna continue wrapping around these two fingers. So once you reach a thickness that looks kind of like this, we are going to stop our winding. So then you're gonna take your little piece that you cut off, and if at all possible, I'm gonna try to stick this through the little gap in my fingers. Arr. Okay, it went through. Um, if you can't do this though, it's okay to take your little ball off, just make sure that you hold it tight. So I'm gonna kind of thread this through my fingers like so. Um, I'm also gonna cut my yarn. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. So I'm gonna cut this yarn. Leave it like this. And then what I'm gonna do is here, you can see what's happening. So I'm gonna wrap this yarn around like so. I'm gonna make sure that it's even, even enough. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull this tight and then slide it off my fingers. Okay. So it's gonna look something like this. Now you want to very carefully Just knot it once and pull as tight as you can without breaking the yarn. So don't break the yarn because it happened to me. So with this as tight as I can make it without breaking the yarn, I'm going to knot it like three or four more times just to make sure it's secure. So now I'm gonna knot that. Okay, so I think, ah, so I think I knotted that about four times and we're gonna leave these two little ends there. Now what we're gonna do is I want you to grab your scissors and we're going to start cutting. So I wanna cut in the center right here through these little loops. So I'm just gonna snip. I need better scissors. And I'm kind of going through the top layer first. So as you can see, we kind of have a bottom layer as well. You wanna also make sure you're not cutting those little ends too. Okay. Then make sure to cut any bottom layers as well. Mm, 
there's even like a third layer in here. So once all your little loops are cut on this side, you're going to do the exact same thing over here on the opposite side. Okay, so that's about all done. All of that is cut. And as you can see, it doesn't look very good right now, right? So what we're going to do is kind of shape it. What I like to do is I'm just going to press it like this, and then I'm going to start trimming. So I'm just going to kind of shape it like so. You guys can always watch another video. Um, there's people that show you how to do this much better than I am right now. And if you already know how to make a pom-pom, then there you go. But I'm just going to kind of clean it up around the edges like this laying it out flat and anything that sticks out oops be very careful not to cut these because we're going to need them later okay so then after i have that it still doesn't look really right so we're going to continue to just kind of clean it up until you're happy with how it looks All right, so I just finished my little pom-pom here. It's not perfect, but I don't have a pom-pom maker, so it's the best that I can do for now. So now what we're gonna do is attach our pom-pom to the very end of our little slip stitch chain. So this is gonna be fairly simple. We have these two little uh, strings hanging off the end of our pom-pom, which is what we're gonna use to attach it to our little slip stitch. So, what you're going to do is find one of these little V's right here. So I'm just going to kind of like insert my hook into the end V and then taking one of the little strings hanging off our pom pom, I am going to pull it through. Okay, we'll just pull that right on through. And then we're going to find there's like two V's. Okay, so here's our other V right here. So we inserted it through this V, this little string, and now I'm going to insert my hook into this V right here. So I'm going to insert, then picking up the second little string, I'm just going to pull through that stitch. Okay, so now making sure all of this is untangled. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just pull that down and I'm just going to triple or quadruple, not this. So you're just going to make sure this is super secure by tying all the knots you want. So once you're done with that, you can cut off these little ends. I'm going to make them, I'm going to cut them off kind of in line with the pom pom. So I'll cut them off about right here. So I'll grab my scissors, cut off the ends, move that over, and now I'm gonna roll it around, <laughs> shape it. And now you have your little pom-pom attached to the end of your strap. So you'll just repeat making another pom-pom and then attaching it to the other strap that you made, and your little ear muffler will officially be done. So once you've woven in all of your ends, this is what your finished ear muffler should look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little easy project and maybe you learned a new stitch or two. But anyways, that's going to be the end for this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.